My friends and I are all headed to Denmark. Friends! <laughs> I'm just doing a little vlog tour. How nice is this? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I probably look a hot mess right now because it is 30 degrees in the UK. It is so humid and I've been running around all day. Sorry if you can hear the traffic in the background. The windows are open because it is so hot. And every single car has just decided to drive past the window. Um, but I am packing right now because my friends and I are all headed to Denmark uh, tomorrow. When I say tomorrow, I mean I'm leaving the house at 4am, um, but technically tomorrow. Um, and that's another reason why I'm quite hot and flustered because I've literally had a full day of work. I was in the office today. I then ran all the way back to mine, packed my suitcase, headed into London. I'm now staying here overnight and then hopping on a 4am bus to London Liverpool Street Station and then taking a train to Stansted Airport from where we'll take a flight to Copenhagen. So I'm feeling very excited but also a little bit stressed because it is just so rushed and so busy. I don't know what I'm packing because the weather just can't make its mind up. Some days it's saying 25 degrees, bright sunshine, then it's saying it's going to drop to 18 or 19 and it could be raining which I wouldn't be surprised because of the heat and the humidity we've had for the past week. Um, in the UK and I imagine all over Europe um, but yeah it's been really hard to pack and then a little bit of context so we're going away for four days um, all of my university friends there are going to be ten of us going which again another reason to stress because that's a lot of people to coordinate um, and then we land back on the Saturday at midnight I've then got to make my way all the way back home go to bed and then I'm getting up again for I think an 8am train up to the north to see my brother graduate so it is a very tight turnaround i've got a very very busy week ahead of me but i have promised to myself and to you guys because you did say on my instagram story you'd want to see it that i would vlog this whole week so i'm very very excited to share it with you and i just feel like we're going to make some really really great memories and it's going to be great to look back on them in video form so i'm really excited to vlog it but at the minute just feeling a little bit stressed i think the heat doesn't help because you just feel a bit more flustered and panicked but the case is packed now my backpack is set i've got my passport i've got my card i've got well if that's what i've got that's what i need and i'll be fine so i just need to stop stressing but for now it's nearly 8 30 and because i'm getting up so early literally i think I'm set, i've set my alarm for 3 15 a.m i'm gonna dash i need to shower i need to stop feeling so hot and sweaty and just try and get an early night right now i do feel quite awake and i need to try and make myself sleepy because i do not want to be grouchy when we land in denmark it's a short four day city break so i need to be my bright and energetic self to fully appreciate this holiday so yeah, I guess when you next see me, it's going to be 3am. See you then.
made it to Denmark. It is super hot. Managed to get all 10 of us here on time. Haven't lost anyone just yet. Though there was a touch and go moment in the airport where we thought we'd lost two people. But we are fine, we have touched down. We are now headed to a food market because it is lunchtime and we are very, very hungry people. Have been up since like three, four o'clock in the morning. So would very much like some grub. And yeah, I'm just really excited to be here. Like the city looks bustling and bright and I'm just so excited. Like all of the stress from planning the holiday is gone and I'm just feeling excited now. So this is smørbrød, a traditional Danish dish that's basically an open-faced sandwich usually served on rye bread. Toppings include things like cold cuts or fish or even egg or cheese and we searched all over the market for a stall that served this dish because we wanted to make sure that the first thing we tried when we landed in Denmark was traditional Danish food. As some of you might know, our friend Tim is actually part Danish which is why we picked to holiday in Denmark this summer so after we'd had lunch we actually met with Tim's parents who kindly showed us around the city and gave us a little bit of a guided tour with some fun facts as we walked around and got to take in the sights in a really quick whistle stop tour of Copenhagen. We couldn't check into our Airbnb just yet, but funnily enough, we accidentally stumbled onto the street where our accommodation was for the week. We were situated on this quiet alley filled with colourful houses just off one of the back streets within a five to ten minute walking distance of all of the main sites in Copenhagen. Like the main shopping street and the squares and Tioli, an amusement park that we visited later in the week. The next location on our tour was Nihaven, I think I've pronounced that correctly, which is basically the main port in Copenhagen, famous obviously for its colourful buildings and scenic views, so we definitely made sure to stop off here and get a couple of cute group pictures together. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that Harris have packed everything for the holiday in this tiny little backpack. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, Harrison? <laughs> I mean, fair enough. But look at it. What is that? What is that? <laughs>
for a little bit to have some really tasty ice cream. Sorry if the wind is really Just as I commented about how windy it was, there was a really big gust that made it impossible to hear what I was saying. But basically I said that I'd went for the nugget flavoured ice cream and it got this like creamy marshmallow fluff put on top with some strawberry jam, which was so tasty and I'd never tried anything like it before. So that little break when I headed off again to go and see the Little Mermaid statue, which is obviously really famous in Denmark, um, made famous or originating from the stories of Hans Christian Andersen. I then said I was a little bit surprised to hear that some tourists find the statue a little bit underwhelming, perhaps because it's smaller than they expect or because it's a little bit further out to sea, but obviously it's a really famous landmark in Denmark, so we were absolutely certain that we wanted to go and see it to make sure we could tick it off our bucket list. So we've dragged everybody along because we've made it this far, may as well walk the full way and, and get to see it. Yeah. Look at the size of his kitchen. There's more space. Oh, this is a bedroom. This is insane. Are there more through there? Oh, that's so cool. It's so huge. Goodness. I'm just doing a little vlog tour. So this is the place we're staying in. You've literally got my live reaction on camera. Um, if I'll just turn you around, how nice is this? There's another bedroom through there, a huge living area. That's insane. This is so nice. I feel like I want to take my shoes off. Let's kick those off. I don't want to walk through here with my shoes on. And oh, another bedroom in this one, and another bedroom in the. You're already unpacking, Will. <laughs> I think we should talk about who's sharing with who. I first. agree. Yeah, I think we have eight beds. Um, but that is that. That is our apartment here in Copenhagen. How nice is that? Like, it's so big and bright and very Danish in the design, very minimalist. So it's looking like we've already dibs this one as the girls' room. We've got a nice table. If I turn you around, we've got. A nice desk here where I'm thinking I could do my hair and makeup in the morning. Got a nice little window that looks out onto the street. And then nice bit of natural light. We've already chucked our cases in here and lots of space. Very minimal as I've said, but definitely thinking it's going to work for us. Nice. What did you order? <laughs> it's weird, the beers come in like three sizes here. You can't you just get a plate. That is huge. Nice. You rate that. That is so huge. Will, are you happy with your choice of uh, water? <laughs> it's so big. Do, do you want some juice? <laughs> <laughs> is it sparkling or is it still? Mmm. To be fair, I went for the sparkling as well, but I've got elderflower in mine. in for the night after a not so traditional Danish dinner. We did just have burgers because the restaurant was very conveniently located right next to our, 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 our Airbnb that we are staying in. Um, and obviously it was quite late by the time we'd gotten back, unpacked, showered, changed, etc. So a lot of restaurants were kind of closing up. It was closer to sort of 9 p.m. when we got out for dinner. But obviously our body clocks are an hour behind that. So it was more like eight for us. And we had a bit of a late lunch because we did land in Denmark at around lunchtime. And then by the time we got settled. So we just wanted something quick, easy, convenient. And it was actually really tasty. I had the beetroot patty. So back to vegetarian, I did kind of throw my vegetarian out the window at lunch because the vegetarian options were very, very limited, um, by which I mean the only option was potatoes on rye bread. So I was like, you know, it's just gonna have to be a 
non-vegetarian meal for lunch so i went for the chicken which was really good but vegetarian dinner hello <laughs> vegetarian dinner this time though i went for the beetroot patty and it was really really tasty so we all enjoyed our meals but hopefully something a little bit more traditional in the morning we then popped to the supermarket got a couple of bits and bobs some very traditional danish looking things um these cinnamon looking pastries and of course a big loaf of rye bread um and i did manage to get some breakfast tea and milk because i cannot start my day without that and hoping to get to a traditional danish bakery for breakfast and have some kind of a danish pastry because that is what i'm here for i'm a big pastry lover i'm a big cake patisserie that sort of stuff is what i look for in holiday so really want to try some traditional danish pastries but for now i need to go to bed because i've been up since 3 a.m and it's now 10 p.m so i am really starting to lose energy and just need my bed i'll see you all in the morning